your fuel cap no longer opens, it is locked on both your Audi and your Volkswagen. So in this video, I will show you everything step by step until the end on how you can replace this cap and unlock it in emergency mode. This way you can replace the sensor at your own home or if you are away from home, how you can unlock it so that you can replace the sensor in the most affordable way by purchasing it online or even buying it from China while saving very much. So, this is the pin, the electronic lock, which locks and unlocks as you lock and unlock the car. I'm going to show you now, first of all, how you'll unlock it from inside your trunk. In the side area, you'll find this red key. You will pull this red key, which was placed there by both Audi and Volkswagen for you to pull in case of an emergency, so that you can unlock the little door that opens so you can fill your car with fuel. Just pull it and it's going to unlock the system. Everyone on the internet teaches it the wrong way. These small marks that I'm showing you here on the cap, everyone I've seen videos on the internet teaching saying that you have to drill a hole in order to be able to remove this finish and change this sensor. That's completely incorrect. They're teaching you wrong. You're paying for your car's gas cap and fastening it wrong. Many people on the internet, I've seen numerous videos of many people teaching the wrong way, damaging your car's fuel cap. There's no need for that. These little marks were simply put by the brand, both by Audi and Volkswagen, so that you know where the locks are. Okay, so that you know where you are going to release the locks. So I will now show you step by step how to dismantle everything, change the sensor and also show you what the sensor code is so you can buy the correct sensor affordably. Make a part like this that you need to damage to remove. So you will just use a plastic key, very simple, and here on top of the markings you have here on the locks. This is where you're going to put this key. So we're going to open it here, the mouthpiece. Obviously the first thing we're going to do is fit the key here inside this rubber part. Correct for us to remove, remember, do not use the tank nozzle, the uncapped tank nozzle. Never use any metal wrench, anything that could cause a spark or fire here because it is very dangerous. And now for us to remove it, we're going to put two fingers here inside this rubber so you can press on the top. Right above the markings you see is where you're going to fit the key. So look, I'm going to fit the key here at the top. It's really hard. We're going to pull the first lock. It's already loose. Okay guys, so it was very simple to release the first lock. Now I'm going to show you how to release the second lock. Look, come here from the other side on top of the marking with the plastic key and you will use force to be able to remove it. Okay, so it's really difficult. It's tough for you to be able to remove it. This lock here releases this lock. For example, on this side here it has already released and on this side here it has also released. Now we come to the bottom, same thing. We came to the bottom, we touched here, we just touched it here. The latch already jumped and it's already loose. So now we just have to pull it a little and it comes out completely. Okay, so here guys, there's no secret, I'll show you here. A lock is here. What did we do to this lock here? We inserted the key from above and used force to push this lock down. The other side here is exactly the same thing. This side here we inserted the key from above and used force to push the lock down. Why is it important that you use a plastic key in this case, right? Just so you don't run the risk of marking the paintwork here on the top. You can see that there was no mark left because the plastic key doesn't leave a mark. At the bottom, exactly the same thing. We put the plastic key here. We used force to release the clip, right? To release the original locks. So, once it's fitted here, it's fully fitted inside here. What will you guys do? I'll put this back here for you to inspect so you can learn and avoid doing it incorrectly in future. 
That way you don't damage your car and I won't ruin the parts. See, these little markings aren't for drilling, okay? Don't drill into this. You can notice the absence of key marks on the paintwork. That's because a plastic key was used, as I mentioned to you before, a cheap plastic key, okay? Without drilling a hole in the part, you will align it exactly with the mark. You will apply force to unlock and release the locks right here at the back to change this sensor. What are you going to do? Over here you will notice that we have this red wire which is a safety feature to allow you to unlock it in case this pin here gets jammed. So this red wire stays inside the trunk so you can lock and unlock it if the system stops working. Let me just attempt to align it here. To change it you just need to loosen this little screw. That's it, loosen this screw, pull out this connector, replace it with a new one. In the video, I will insert a picture of the model, the part number, to make it easier for you to purchase. The video just cut off. So there you have it. I'm going to reassemble it now. You need to be aware of this little hose here. It's responsible for drainage. So when fuel comes out from here, or you wash the car and it gets filled with water, this little hole drains the water or gasoline. I am going to put everything back together now. So you can see how it is put back together. The first thing I will do is reattach the drain hose into position, because obviously it couldn't be left out. This part is a little hard to see usually, but the drain in your car might be blocked too, so it's important that you clean it, right? The drain is fitted now. Let me put everything back together. Let's look at this piece here. You can see, first it fits from the side, okay? Let me just pass this through. This is the small cable that you pull from inside the trunk in order to unlock the pin. Let's move on. Let's fit it back here. It's not rocket science. We just have to find the correct alignment for the piece. Let's fix the rubber back here. As you can see, the nozzle is exactly in its intended position. It's just not fixed yet. It's loose at the moment. How do we secure it? We secure it here, and then we tighten the locks on both sides. Now it's tightly secured. As you can see, I can pull it and it won't come out anymore. Now it's stuck back onto the latches and won't unlock. Lastly, just place the rubber seal back onto the nozzle, right? In the original system, you can get the cap, place the cap back into position. Although mine is a little off here, everything is locked in its original position. The cap is closed. It's very simple. Just for the tip, why not give a like? I hope you find this useful. And remember, you did not have to drill anything on the original part, nor did you have to ruin the original part to be able to do this replacement. So, I appreciate your like. Have a great day, everyone. And please leave a comment if you've encountered a problem like this before. Of course, if you haven't had this problem but you found the content useful or if you've encountered a problem like this before and haven't found anyone showing a way to dismantle it without having to drill a hole, please comment below for us, okay? Bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video.